Oh, hey there, people. Well, I got a couple things I need to do today. Um, one is I need to go pick up some more allergy pills because I'm fresh out. It's always good to have those on hand. You never know when an outbreak will happen. I'm going to bring the Nemesis uh, RSST mod for my daily vape. Just going to reload it with some juice. Got to pick up some of that. I want to bring back some beer empties. And uh, see that hole in my armpit? A lot of my Mark 1 shirts are tearing at the seams at the armpit. This is a Mark 1 because it's like one color, right? The Mark 2s, which is like the green one that you saw yesterday's video which is the ones that are for sale they have the uh, the color on to them but uh, yeah gotta bring those downstairs throw them in the washing machine I just want to make sure I have another shirts up here or anything else that needs washing yeah I do okay so I'm gonna grab some shit put it in the washing machine kick that over we're gonna head off to the green store I'm thinking about picking something up for supper tonight I didn't calculate right when I bought all that shit on Friday so let's go get that done and then I want to come back here um, I got some other shit to do. Oh yeah, I gotta find that sewing kit of mine so I can repair the armpits on my uh, Mark 1 son of a bitches. So uh, let's go and get shit dead. Well, found out why at night when I hear her running around downstairs what she's doing. She's on the hunt. She dropped the mouse last night. That's right, she totally ruined a mouse's life. And uh, even though Oreo's killed some in the past, I could tell that she did it versus Oreo, because when Oreo kills them, he kind of looks like chewed up sock. Uh, <laughs> it's all, uh, like he really, really mangles the piss out of them when he kills them. Where Scampers, the ones that she killed, were basically, they just, they're, they're, they're just scalped. Literally, she took the head off. Now, some people told me that when a cat kills a mouse, they're supposed to bring it to you like a present or something. She doesn't. She just, like, leaves it on the ground. And uh, Oreo won't touch her kill, but she will definitely play with Oreo's kills, let me tell you. It's pretty gross. But, uh, yeah, she, like, totally takes the, the fur off the head and then just leaves it. Like, it's pretty damn awkward. Anyway, um, I wanted to find my Windex because I want her to do the window on the car, and I don't know where the frick my Windex is because let me tell you that car with all the vaping I do in there while driving to and from work and other things that window is kind of hard to see through now so I'm thinking I wonder how this stuff reacts to windows alrighty let's get the frig out of here head off to uh, the grocery store go pick up that shit where did I put my phone oh there it is Keep losing everything around here yeah buddy I also want to do some other work around the house tonight and uh, while I'm out I want to go to the grocery store should I grab those empties Ah, oh, fuck it. Uh, where's my shoes? Oh, I want to go to the grocery store and get some food, because like I said, I miscalculated my food. And, uh, yeah. So, let's pitter powder and have at her. Alrighty, this thing's not hitting right. I know a little son bitch who's getting a rebuild tonight. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. We got things. Why did that snowman get so big? Jesus, I can't see shit. We got a car coming up somewhere. I just can't tell where it is. Oh, fuck, there it is. Clear. I'm about to find out. Whoa, just have my brakes done and they're already squealing. Gotta love it. Then again, it could just be water on them or ice. Jeez Louise. Papa cheese, this thing is not hitting the way it should. Anyway, figured I would do this kind of vlog this time, aiming at myself instead of showing you the road. Um, Frig six, don't you hate that when you had something you wanted to talk about and you can't remember what the hell it was? Oh well. But, uh, I don't know how you guys are, but that daylight savings time shit, that just happened there not uh, not too long ago. I don't know why, but every time that happens, I just have a hard time adjusting to it. It usually takes me like three, four days just to realize what the, what's really going on and stuff, so I don't know. Whatevs. Yeah, freaking scampers, killing mice. She's a good kitty. That's what I wanted her for, was to be a mouser and to be a buddy. She got the mouser down. She's somewhat a buddy. I just can't let her in the room when I sleep because she's a toe biter. That really hurts, especially because I don't like wearing socks when I go to sleep. Some people like to wear socks when they go to sleep to keep their feet warm I don't like doing it because then you get those sock uh, what do you call it uh, sock dents on your feet holy shit does that ever hurt uh, when I go to bed socks come off frig yeah well most of the time when I'm home and I'm not going anywhere socks aren't even on because uh, it's always good to let your feet breathe so doc told me yeah this whole being 35 thing whoop de doo right that's why I tell people age is just a bloody number the more birthdays you have the longer you'll live ha ah, did you catch that but uh, yeah I, I never Never really care about birthdays or anything because I've never really celebrated a birthday one year we did a birthday party over at uh, the ex's parents house and it was all right but you know I just I never really cared about them like whatever it's just another day for me especially this year because I had to work it that was exciting oh man I wonder if London Ontario is getting the weather we're getting right now it's a freaking tropical blizzard out there we got snow coming at us I feel like I'm Star Trek Enterprise going through space you know, friggin' warp drive activated. 
All right, bud. Either pass me or get behind me, but don't ride right on my freaking wing. God, that pisses me off. When like they're riding and their nose is equal with your passenger door. Oh yeah, I wanted to mention about my PlayStation. That's what I wanted to talk about, my PlayStation 3 setup that I did a couple days ago. There's a problem with it. It's not a big problem, but it's definitely a problem. Um, everything works. You can hear me, you can hear the guys. Everything's working perfectly. It's, it's a great setup, except for one fatal flaw. My microphone, oh shit, my microphone is only recording on the left channel, obviously, because the microphone port on the Xbox uh, connector is a mono mic, and I have it in stereo. I would need an adapter to convert it from stereo to mono, which, you know what, I don't need an adapter. All I do is when I'm editing the video in Sony Vegas, is I click the button to combine both audio channels, and it converts it to, from two stereo channel, uh, two stereo, yeah, two channel stereo to one channel mono, and you guys can't even tell the difference so it's not a big deal not a big deal at all comes through nice and clean you can hear me you can hear Adrian you can some of the earlier episodes you could barely hear Rex until he figured out how to turn up his microphone now you can really hear Rex so that's pretty good come on green light you hooker there we go well now that we bumped ahead an hour it shouldn't start getting dark till about 7 30 so that's kind of weird that's gonna be fun to get used to Oh yeah, and there's that other thing I wanted to talk about. We went for coffee last night. I was chatting with uh, Rex and them about um, metal. Not heavy metal, like just metal metal for fabrication. They didn't know where to buy it. All I knew was you can go to the scrapyard and buy some rusted up shit that sat in dump water for about a year. Or you can, apparently there's a store in town here where you can buy some mangle iron and square tubing and all that because I want to take my chances at fabrication. Oh, son of a bitch. Your store closed early today. Shopper still open? Yep. Oh well, fuck it. I don't need beer. I can stay sober. But um, yeah, I want to take my chance at fabrication and what I want to fabricate is something pretty simple but pretty useful too. I want to make a bumper for the Dynamark, the romping mower. Mainly because I want to protect the tires so that they don't Chevy this year when uh, we go romping because all it takes is a good rock or you know another launch lift up no axle and it'll add weight to the front end too which will be good because I need some weight on that front end dig those tires in but uh, I'm gonna get the frig out of here go to uh, the food store buy some food go to the drug store buy some allergy pills and then we're gonna head her home so let's pitter patter and have at her people alrighty I'm back friggin forgot to put the cap on my e-cigarette there's a little plunger that goes into the fill hole forgot to put it on there son of a whore leaked everywhere got covered in e-juice I smell like freaking mangoes right now but she still hit so that's all right. Get the hell out of here. But yeah, like I was talking about before, I uh, went to go shopping. By the way, really wish I didn't have to go shopping today because uh, she's nutty in there. Everybody's like not paying attention and shit and just doing their own thing. And I got hit by a shopping cart. That that really sucked. Right into the side of the knee. Oh Jesus! I went to go and the fucking tire slipped. Was fuck returning? Anyway, yeah. Um, what the hell was it talking about? Oh yeah, I want to I want to build that bumper to protect my tires versus stray debris that could dick it over. And then, you know, buy a couple pieces of scrap steel. Even if I fuck it up, who cares? It's all a learning experience. I'm getting pretty good with the welder though. I can do some pretty good welds now with that MIG. Um, that is a MIG. Yeah, it is. I call it a buzz box. But I can do some pretty decent welds with it. They come up pretty nice and clean, and then you just grind it all down and it looks good. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'll still making a front bumper for the uh, Dynamark. And that way there I could uh, protect my shit and add some more weight to it. So that the front tires dig into the, into the dirt more and uh, I'll get better steering. What I need to do is what Rex did. Put ATV tires on the back and put the back tires on the front. But he had to do some work on his front end because uh, the big tires didn't clear the tractor and when he turned it rubbed like you had next to no turning radius. I also want to do what Rex did and put a, a gas pedal onto the Dynamark because it does bring a whole new, like a whole new uh, dimension. The uh, mower because right now all I have is like the, the throttle the throttle lever and I don't know what's going on with it but uh, you put it on full bore and as you're driving the vibrations from the engine or whatever cause the uh, the lever to drop about halfway and you know when it happens because that thing has like no balls so I'm thinking a gas pedal would be kind of cool because then I can you know drive it like freaking gas pedal that'd be awesome and seeing how the clutch and brake are on the same pedal the way that works is that you halfway depress and it engages the clutch and then when you all the way depress it engages the clutch and the uh, disc or whatever the brake is in the back. Uh, um, so yeah, and then so you can clutch as you're driving, you can push that clutch pedal in and then fucking change a gear and then like totally drive it like a five speed. 
without having that gated gearbox. So that's kind of neat. Um, hoping to get more tractor romping done this year. You know, get out there, more riding, less breakdowns. But uh, who knows, man? Who knows? Who knows what summer's going to bring? Or even spring for that matter. All of us at work are still waiting to hear the news. I have a feeling that this is all just propaganda. My uh, my boss was hope is hoping that it's going to happen so he can get the buyout and go back to school and, and stuff. But I have a feeling that uh, that uh, useless twat win is using this as a way to get reelected. You know, she's going to make it sound like she saved the ONTC and it's going to like give her more points for saving the North and people are going to think she actually gives a rat's ass about us up here. I'm sorry, I can't trust the politician people. I never could. Those bastards, they'll tell you they're going to do something, but they won't tell you how they're going to do it and nobody's smart enough to ask how they're going to do it. Like when uh, uh, friggin' uh, what the hell's his name? Mike, uh, oh, for freak's sake, Mike Harris, when he was uh, in office, he said he was going to get rid of, uh, of or he's going to drop the debt in half. And everybody's like, oh, that's so amazing, he's going to do it. He didn't say how he was going to do it, but he did it. He actually, when his term was over, the debt was cut in half. He just totally fucking put cuts on everything. Schooling, police, fire, friggin', he cut their payments out big time and put all the profits towards the deficit. Well, he did what he said he was gonna do, but people never asked him how he was gonna do it. And let me tell you, that year, schools went on strike, uh, freaking police went on strike. Like, there was a lot of nonsense that happened when he pulled that, that bullshit. But, if you don't ask your politician, well, how do you plan on doing that, you know? A lot of them say, well, this is what we're gonna do, and sounds great, bud, but how are you planning on doing it, you know? Like this whole ONTC thing, you know, there's a lot of profit to be made. Hey, they're selling off the part of the company, which is the part I work for, and we are the most profiting part of that company. Are you serious? Like, why would you do that? But anyway, people, enough nonsense about that. I'm freaking hungry. It's 5.30. I'm going to go get those steaks ready. I bought some uh, green peppers, some red peppers, and some mushrooms. I'm going to tinfoil that nonsense up. I'm going to head out to the garage and, and rip off some barbecuing. Um, probably gonna make a coffee for this barbecue. I haven't had my coffee today, so that'll be all right. And uh, I gotta put the cat back on this stupid thing because she's leaking like a sieve. And she's not performing that well either. Yeah, already got the food all prepped. I'm gonna fire all these pork chops up. They're really small. They're not a big pork chop at all. Friggin' what do you expect for three bucks for a pack? Just uh, rip me off a coffee here. I uh, already added the stuff to it. Learned that trick from Rex. Give it a quick stir. Cap it. Let's head up to the garage. Oh, there's my Windex. Son of a bitch. I didn't know I was out here. Well, shit. Already fired up the bar. I've already fired up the barbecue, just letting it heat up. I cleaned off that thing there, and I pushed a lot of the shit out from underneath uh, using the uh, scraper part of my brush. But I need to buy like a, like a drywall putty knife to really get in there. But I'm just gonna let that grill heat up, and then I'm gonna hit it with the uh, hit it with the uh, the brush, clean it all off. Then we'll get this nonsense onto it and get cooking some meat. And now I understand why these were so cheap. <laughs> There's more fat on them. I cleaned out the barbecue of all the grizzle, right? <laughs> it's always just gonna come back. Oh, dick. That's not supposed to be open like that. So while I'm in the grocery store, the friggin' uh, um, I bump into my old hairstylist when I used to go over to the uh, the place by McDonald's to get my hair cut. And uh, I can't remember what the hell it's called. It's like choice haircutting or something like that. But um, I bump into my hairstylist and she's like, hey, I haven't seen you in a while. She goes, did you get a new barber? And I'm like, no, no. So I started doing it myself because it's easier that way and cheaper. And she looks at my hair and goes, yeah, I can tell. Does it really look that bad? Like, really? <laughs> and I was like, oh, nice, thanks. And she just laughs and walks away. I'm like, freak sakes. Like, I thought I did a pretty good job. I guess I thought wrong. Oh, well, it's just cheaper to do it yourself and it's so simple, right? Um, only difference is, is I did number three all over and I get them to do number two on the side four on the lid but uh, I kind of like number three all over works nice get some of that Montreal chicken spice onto the pork chops Oh, kind of put too much on that one son of a bitch yeah buddy dinner will be good tonight as long as these don't catch fire I think this summer is gonna be the summer I invest in a new barbecue this one works but the flames mostly roll up the back and not really the front so you get like uneven cooking spots. Now a lot of you were saying put some lava rock in there, but there's not really much room for that. I think I'm gonna get a better barbecue, maybe spend a little bit more than $39.97 and get myself like a like a charbroil or, or something like that. This is just called a grill mate, but I'm gonna get something bigger. Well, not bigger, but just with better burners, because I think, I don't know if the burners, maybe the burners plugged, who knows, but uh, she's kind of dicked. It works. It cooks my food, and it's efficient on propane. Like, I just lifted the bottle, and she's still really heavy, so I thought I was running out, but apparently I'm not. Right on. And, um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. This winter, I barbecued more than my parents. Gotta love that kind. Um, I forgot to film it, but I pulled the meat off the barbecue, obviously, because I'm in the house. I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this meat in a Tupperware container, toss it on the fridge. 
maybe have it later on tonight if I get a hunger strike or some nonsense. And I'm going to dump this on the plate. I'm going to go eat my breakfast, lunch, supper, because I'm freaking starved. So let's go and give her. Well, people, dinner was glorious. Uh, for the past, uh, since Friday, I don't know, it was not Friday, since yesterday, I've been vaping on this uh, stuff that Ronnie Kata, freaking Mr. Kata on YouTube sent me. Um, come on, white balance. You got this, bud. No, you don't. You really don't. There we go. Pumpkin cheesecake. And um, if you notice, it's zero nicotine. There is no nicotine in this shit. Well, you probably can't notice because the print's so small. But it's um, zero based nicotine 50-50 blend. And dude, this stuff tastes like pumpkin pie on Thanksgiving. Complete with the whipped cream onto it. It's so good. And I've been using that for the past two days. No nicotine, but I noticed something and it wasn't until Daddy Tech uh, told me in a hangout last night that um, when you're vaping zero nicotine, it puts more stress on your coils. And like I just rebuilt the coil in this beast. This is my dripper. And it's already pretty carboned up. Like it's pretty gunked up because the nicotine helps the coil cool. And I didn't know that. So he told me that last night and sure as shit, he's bang on. With no nicotine, your coils burn out just a little bit quicker. So that's something you got to be aware of if you're zero nick uh, chooching. But um, it still hits like a Buick. So that's all right. Yep, I love the taste of that one. Like, right now, like I said, I'm on six milligrams and zero milligrams of e-liquid. So I am completely weaning myself off the nicotine dependency, which is friggin' awesome. But another thing you gotta watch out for is um, when you order your e-juices, like I already contacted Yellick and confirmed that he doesn't use anything. I can't remember the name of the, of the, of the shit. There's two chemicals found in flavoring. Fine for cooking, no, aw, oh, frig, he sent them over the Google Hangout. Son of a bitch. Anyway. Um, one's deactyls, and I can't remember what the other one is, but basically those chemicals for cooking are fine because they burn off, so flavor, it burns off and you can eat it, your body can digest it, but if you inhale it and it gets into your lungs, you get something called popcorn lungs, which the only way to cure it is by getting a full lung transplant. So you got to be careful when you're ordering your e-juice. Um, I'm going to see if I can find the chemicals. One second. So there you go. There's the condition there. Uh, bronchitis obliterans. And it's an obstruction of the lungs. Tiniest airways called bronchial holes. Okay. Makes it difficult for air to flow out of the lungs and causes dry coughs, shortness of breath, wheezing, and is irreversible. One of the causes of bronchial whatever is believed to be the inhalation of airborne diactyls, a chemical used to make butter-like flavoring and popcorn giving the term popcorn lung. And I just realized there's an infrared beam coming out of my camera. Or is that the reflection of the light bulb? Oh, it's the reflection of the light bulb. Okay, never mind. So eating it is fine, but inhaling it is not fine. Now, I've already been checked. Like, I, I go every two weeks to my doctor, and he runs tests on me and things. And, like, I'm an asthmatic, so that's part of the wheezing there. But he said, like, not to worry. He goes, just make sure these flavorings don't have it. And I've already contacted Yellick, and his juices are dactyl free and uh, completely 100% safe. Same with VIP e-juices, safe. However, I never contacted CanVape when I was ordering the vaping juice. So chances are those ones there are probably not so safe. But that's fine, I'm just gonna be getting my juices now from uh, Yellick and from VIP. But now that I'm down to zero Nick, I don't really need to vape that much. I just love the taste, that's the thing. Like some people, you know, they buy these candies, these Werther's, and they friggin' love them, right? They'll sit there and eat a the whole bag in a night because they love the taste. That's how I am with vaping, except for like zero calories, right? Because I'm just vaping the flavor, not really, uh, not really eating it and digesting it and then having all that sugar in my bloodstream and all that nonsense. So all in all, I think my juices are pretty damn safe, except for, you know, you got to watch out for cinnamon flavored and buttery flavored, like butter rum and all that. You got to watch out for those because if they're using the flavoring that they use in popcorn, it could cock over your system and you'll require a lung transplant if it gets really bad. Just saying. Yeah, buddy. I forgot to mention while I was at Shoppers Drug Mart, um, I was looking for, they had these kits. It was just a a blister pack and it had like a little bit of thread and a needle on each one. All I need is a damn sewing needle because I have thread somewhere. I had it in here anyway. Might still be in the other room. But I thought I had a needle pushed through the, the bobbin of thread and apparently I don't. So I don't have a needle. Otherwise I'd fix my damn armpit issue, you know. But uh, they didn't have the kits there. So then I was looking for tweezers for building coils. 
And I'm definitely not buying any damn tweezers there. Holy shazbot. One pair of tweezers. One pair of tweezers. $15.99. $16 for a pair of tweezers. Holy crap. I'm like, bro. He's like, well, what do you want it for? And I'm like, oh, basically two squish coils and torch them. He's like, what? And I'm like, yeah, it's for my e-cigarette. He's like, oh. And I'm like, yeah. And he goes, I'm look at them. I'm like, these are metal with a plastic handle. And he's like, yeah, and I'm like, these are not worth $16, and they won't last for what I'm doing. I said, I'm going to the buck store, and he's like, yeah, probably a good idea. Because so I think Pug went to the dollar store, and he picked up a kit of, like, three or four of them for, like, two bucks. So that's all I need, because, yeah, once that torch starts hitting it, because that thing gets super hot super fast, once that torch starts hitting those coils, and it's going to be hitting the, uh, the damn uh, friggin' thing, the tweezers, it's probably going to warp them a bit, maybe. Who knows? But um, for now, I've been just using my needle nose pliers and it works, but the tweezers are just much better for getting in there and doing fine adjustments once the coil's installed. But anyway, yeah, I don't think anything else is going on tonight, people. Um, I just had a shower and shit, and uh, I feel a lot better. But um, I'm probably going to call her quits for tonight. Probably going to play some video games and uh, just go to bed early because I think tomorrow Rex and I might go down to Mitsubishi. i got to show you guys this. Rex texted me a couple days ago and he told me that Mitsubishi has an Econo box on, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm typing one handed, but uh, they have an Econo box on their lot. It's called the Mirage. And dude, this thing is freaking hilarious. Where is it? Anyway, uh, the Mirage, you can get it for $49 bi weekly. That's right, $49 bi weekly. Look at this beast. Oh, yeah little hatchback job. You kind of like the Ford Fiesta and the uh, Mazda 2 and uh, look at that fuel mileage. 4.4 liters per 100 kilometers on the highway, 64 miles per gallon. You're probably thinking, oh that's not too bad. Okay, let's take a look at th this is the best part, the detailed specs whenever you know wants to kick over and load. This you're gonna laugh. 1.2 liter dual overhead cam Myvec three cylinder engine. Five speed manual train. I don't even think you can get this thing in automatic. You know, we're gonna probably go take it for a rip and uh, just see how lame it is. He wants to come too, and I'm like, bro, I don't know if we're both gonna fit in that thing. Cause like I weigh over, like I weigh 285 pounds. Rex has to be at least 250 pounds. So that's gonna be like 500 pounds in this thing. Uh, this three cylinder, three cylinder engine might explode. Like it might blow up. So that's why if we test it, if we take it for a test drive, we're gonna freaking uh, definitely record it because if we're gonna blow up a car, I want that on a YouTube video because that's fucking hilarious. But uh, yeah, 14 inch alloy wheels, nice. Love 14 inch wheels, they're cheap. Automatic climate control, heated front seats, front fog lamps, heated folding body color power side view mirrors, nice. But if you notice, the base model comes with like the, the, the engine transmission, the steel wheels, uh, 140 watt AM FM CD with MP3, um, auto off halogen, just like my G6 has the, the halogen headlamps turn off, uh, side marker lamps, which you kind of sort of need. The fact that they list that as a feature is pretty funny. Power windows front, only in the front. Power windows are only in the front. That is awesome. <laughs> Multi-information display and 60-40 split folding rear seat. And then this one here, the extra options are 14-inch alloy wheels, automatic climate control, heated front seats, only the front, fog lamps, heated and folding body color power side view mirrors, power doors with locks with remote keyless entry, power windows front and rear. Oh, this one only had it in the front. Now you get it in the rear too. Totally worth it, you know? And six way adjustable driver's seat. So yeah, <laughs> I can just imagine this thing being a gutless bucket. There you go, 1.2 liter dual overhead Myvec three cylinder engine, 74 horsepower. So, you know, it's a lot weaker than any of the other cars out there, but it does have 73 more horsepower than a horse, so that's a bonus. Uh, it's got the 5-speed manual. Oh, it does come with a uh, CVT transmission, so that's an option that you can put into it. Uh, torsion, beam, suspension, whatever the hell that means. Front stabilizer bar, ventilated front discs, and rear, oh, rear drums. Oh, shit. Taking out all the features, people. Electric power-assisted rack and pinion steering. Oh, that's like that same nonsense that um, friggin uh, the G6 has and he'll start assist CVT only I don't know I don't know what that is but maybe some of you guys do and then uh, yeah it's pretty 
pretty funny. Pretty, pretty funny. I'm gonna build one. Okay, so I just built one real quick. I didn't do anything with the colors, but I just left it cloud white. And uh, all I added to it was the CVT transmission because I can't be bothered to fucking clutch. And uh, after all said and done, bi-weekly payments, they're 124 so I have no idea, and that's for 60, uh, 60 month term, I have no idea where they're getting their numbers from. Saying it's 74 or $79 or some nonsense, $49, that's what it was, $49 every two weeks because maybe, maybe, just maybe, if I change this 60 to like an 84, now it's $93 every two weeks. But who the fuck would want to own that pile of piss for 84 months? I'd lose my shit and want to kill somebody. So, what's this? Oh, oh, I don't know. The Lancer is a little bit more expensive. Like it's about two grand extra, but do I really want one of them? If I did, I'd probably want it in five. I don't like CVT, that's the thing. I find it's really, like you gotta be on the throttle all the time with it, eh? Like, if, if you get off the throttle, it's like a skidoo. You're driving a sled and you fucking, you're on the throttle and as soon as you get off the sled just starts decelerating like really rapidly. And cars with CVTs do the same thing, like too bad they couldn't freewheel the transmission somehow so it didn't have that drag. But it does, but yeah I don't, I don't, I don't think the Mirage, the Mirage is, is that it looks like a fast car but really it's pretty gutless. But anyway, we might do that tomorrow, two fat guys riding in a friggin piece of shit car. We're probably going to wreck this thing if we do. Depends on the weather. Like right now, we're getting a pretty good blizzard outside. And if the roads are just right dick tomorrow, I really don't want to be test driving a car during prime time on Monday. Because chances are, um, well, people are idiots. We'll probably crash it. But anyway, I'm going to leave this video here, people. I'm going to shut her down for now. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, click that like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.